There's a saying that the early bird gets the worm. But the thing is, it's not only about timing, it's about positioning. It recently rained and I looked outside and I saw this long earthworm for about eight inches, inching its way along my driveway. Then later on I looked across the street and I saw two American robins. I know robins, they thrive during that time so they can pull earthworms out of the ground. And at that moment, I was actually cheering for the robins to find the earthworm. And then also a little bit later, I looked down and I saw that there was a smaller earthworm per about three inches long. But I thought, I'm not sure how voracious a, an American robin's appetite is. But if one of those birds could get to the earthworm, it'd literally be a free meal being served up on a platter. And this earthworm would probably keep a robin fed, satisfied for about a week. But the thing is, the robin stayed on the other side of the street. Then the earthworm starts inching its way, its way off my driveway and into the grass. The robins came over on my side of the street. Then I saw a third. Then it kind of came to the right side of my driveway but the earthworm was over on the left. And the thing is, all three of them were clueless regarding what they missed. They were busy searching in the grass. And when they looked, they kind of looked down sideways, they were busy searching in the grass. But what they all were coveting was right across the street from them, basically. So they're in the right place. Or in a sense, they're right area at the right time, but just slightly out of position. And that incident made me wonder, how many times have we been in a position to reap something phenomenal, but because maybe we're stuck in our old ways, it's the right time, but being off just by a little bit, we miss a major opportunity. And then I saw the earthworm crawl all the way off the driveway and into the grass. Did Robbins find it? Probably not. It missed an opportunity. And the converse of this story, I mentioned earthworms were about eight inches long. How did it get that big? It missed many other opportunities like that, meaning the earthworm. It could have been eaten many times, but it survived. The other side of that is sometimes people go astray and someone has the opportunity to bring correction to them that could potentially reel them back in. But because no one reels them in, or maybe because they continue rebelling against the Lord, they get bigger and bigger until it's too late and they are beyond correction, beyond redemption. So yes, on that day, I was hoping for the robins to get an earthworm. Nothing against the earthworm and really nothing for the robins. But then that day, I was hoping that robins would get to the earthworm. Because God provides. He provides for the earthworm and for robins. I just want to see the robins' reaction upon finding such an earthworm. Right there in the open. There's a saying about um, a struggle being worth it. There are times the Lord does not want us to struggle. And people may think if it's not a struggle, then something must be wrong. I mean, the earthworm was right there for the taking, but the robins were out of place. So prayerfully, if you're in a position where the Lord has something for you, you won't come so close to it and never reap the opportunity. Kind of like the Israelites, the Lord told them to go possess the promised land. They're right there. And yet many of them never got the opportunity to walk in. And others got the opportunity instead. So again, the robins, they're so close <laughs> to what could be called pay dirt. 
An earthworm is about eight inches long. My gosh. But they missed opportunity. And I guess um, for them, they don't know what they missed. But I do. Have you ever wondered how much different your life would have been if certain, uh, certain things had happened? Or in, certain, in some cases, if certain things had not happened? And maybe like the Robins, you'd be close. Or you'd be um, surprised how close you were to an incredible opportunity. But in a sense, you missed it by this much. This is a lot of food for thought. God bless you, and Jesus Christ is Lord.